So here I am with my cousin. Today's my, my final yeah, day. I'm going home today at nine o'clock. So just getting some breakfast around twelve thirty, and then we're gonna head home around. Yeah. Actually, I'll go get my Corona test first. Um, test results, sorry, and then head on home, eat some food, chill a little bit, and then head to the airport around six thirty. That's the plan, and then I've got a long travel because it's Saturday, and I'm gonna be in Denmark Sunday. Long for man, but I need sleep, so in the aeroplane, and I've got that that that, wow. pre, that premium seat, so it's a lot of space. I'm gonna sleep. Good. I can feel it already. But yeah, I'll show you the food when it comes tuna, prawns, flavors. Yes, I approve. Have a great day. Thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So here we are at the airport, um, I've checked in and everything, it's currently 7 o'clock, my fight is at like 9.15 but because of all the hecticness that's happened in the last two days, we're having to get tested, getting the results, which in total took like 10 hours, I'm not even joking, it's crazy. Um, yesterday, went to go get tested at 6.30 in the morning, like I left the house, um, got it for 7, I told my cousin go because it's going to take time, there's nobody here, um, but it was a queue in front of me, some people got there at 5 in the morning. Um, so we stayed there up until 11.45, no joke, just to get tested. We arrived there at 7, me, um, had to wait until 9 for the person to come in and get the information about us, where we're living, name, all that goodness. And then the people that were testing got there like 11, 15, 11, 15 past 11, like it's, it's just the whole mess here, there's literally no system. <laughs> However, the woman that tested me, had soft hands, very soft hands compared to the woman that tested me in Denmark. She she was twisting, going all hard. I think it's because I told her I'd never had a corona test before and she, she just decided to violate man, innit? Um, but I'm here chilling, about to sip on this cocktail. Um, I watched the sunset, my last sunset here in Cambria. Um, yeah, today also getting the results was hectic. Got there for one o'clock, um, which is what they told us. Get there for one o'clock. Um, and yeah, I didn't leave that place till like 4.30. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna chill. Oh, what a drink. <laughs> what a drink. I'm gonna miss it. I'm coming back in December 100%, I have to. It's been a great trip, a great relaxing trip. Um, well needed, and some of my friends and family say well deserved as well. Um, I'm motivated, and more motivated than ever um, to hustle hard. Cause I want to come back here and start a few few projects so I got put in that shift got put in that work and yeah man I'm gonna show you guys the sunset while I'm sipping on this and I'll see you guys in uh, Brussels Water, aqua, got my nice little pesto cheese and tomato panini and a little naughty it's a little sticky though. Ooh. A little, little type, type of pasting. Um, once I enter my house, I'm done. <laughs> I've had way too much fun these last two weeks with food and it's not been terrible but it's been out of my normal comfort type of situation where 
I fast 16 hours, eat in an eight hours windows, whereas this trip has been more of a, I eat when I feel like eating. At random hours of the night, sometimes at three, four in the morning, five in the morning, depending on where I'm at, what I'm doing. It was, there was no routine. That was the biggest thing. There was no structure on this trip. It was just wake up, go with the wind, whatever happens, happens, and I eat what I want because I'm on vacation to relax. Um, so yeah, ain't been mad about what I've been eating or anything like that. If anything, it's been more like organic food because it's like meats, you got the fishes, everything's cooked, it's fresh. You know, I mean, fresh out the ocean and that. So yeah, but let's, let's munch on this. My flight, my connection is in an hour and a half, so got plenty of time. It's sit on the board, relax. I can see it right here. It's a chill, so I'm a chill. Cool. Bon appetit. Hot. So, landed in Copenhagen, had to do a mandatory test, came up negative, um, the quick test one. Normally I've heard a lot of bad things about that, it comes out positive sometimes, but it was clear, now I'm gonna get my luggage, head on home, Denmark's raining, what a surprise. Um, I just can't wait to get home, hot shower, put my legs up and watch football, because it's Sunday. And you know what it's like, Super Sunday, all the matches, let's go home. Suitcase and that, someone broke my suitcase, I mean, like the whole, like, it's got four wheels, there's three now. It's handicapable. Uh, <laughs> and it seems like my family done missed Joe, boy, they missed me. I was coming out of the station, I could just see them in the window, just looking out. Zoe was there dancing and whatnot. Let's see their reaction right now. Let's see this guy. It's more like Gambia, though, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a I told you that. <laughs> Look at this one. Hey! My queen! Ah. Made it back home now, had my shower, washing my clothes currently, about to turn on my computer. Oh, the noise. <laughs> I've missed that noise. Um, yeah, gonna do a little bit of work and then sit and watch football for the rest of the day. Oh, I'm gonna sleep good tonight, eat some good food and just make sure I get a decent amount of sleep tonight. That, that was a long travel. That was like 12, 13 hours of travel. In total, it was around 14, 15 hours. Um, if you add the whole COVID things and the testing, it's, it was a very, very long travel. So I am pretty tired, but a few things I need to do so I can go and relax with my babes and sip on some good my tea. It's cold here, raining and all that nonsense, but I, I ain't complaining. I'd rather have this than the sun. I know some of you think I'm crazy, but I'm being this serious. Too much sun ain't it for me. I don't like too much sun. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna end the video here. As always, thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> love life, love life, love life. Peace.